named storms out there right now in addition to keeping an eye on our local forecast. And so locally and for the United States interest, the only uh, storm at the moment that poses a threat to the U.S. is Irma. And so we're going to spend most of our time talking about that. But I do have all three hurricanes in view here on our satellite imagery. Two major ones with uh, Irma, a Category 4 hurricane, and we have uh, Jose here, a Category 3 hurricane. Unfortunately, islands like Barbuda, which were hit hard just earlier this week with Irma, under hurricane watches again due to Jose. Now Irma, again, a category four storm. In terms of the intensity, it wasn't much of a change overnight. We did see the wind speed, sustained winds drop enough to bring it down to a powerful category four hurricane. So the latest update from the National Hurricane Center has us with 155 mile per hour sustained winds moving to the west northwest at 16. That's been the general movement over the last few days. The pressure now 925 millibars on that path. It's going to track between the Bahamas and Cuba over the next couple of days, hitting south uh, the southern Bahamas hard during the daytime today. And then it's still forecast to take that sharp turn to the north, which would bring it into South Florida Saturday night and Sunday morning. So here's the hurricane warnings right now, and you can see that those have expanded to include that southern tip of Florida, the Florida Keys, uh, likely to be hit with a category four hurricane. The intensity of this not expected to change much before landfall in Florida, 150 mile per hour sustained winds as of 2 a.m. Sunday morning approaching the Florida Keys in South Florida and from there expected to weaken as it tracks over land but still even Saturday night Sunday morning nearing Orlando could be a category two hurricane with 105 mile per hour sustained winds and then weakening to a tropical storm by Monday night. Here's the wind speeds and this is the probability of hurricane force winds. So we see that expanding into South Florida so that by 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, the Florida Keys, Miami likely to be seeing hurricane force winds and that extends all the way up. Even play inland places like Orlando have at this point decent shot, 50, 60 percent chance of seeing 70 to possibly 90 mile per hour wind gusts. So significant winds with this storm. The strongest of it will be just on the northern and eastern side of the eye. So the path of this going to be bringing some of those strongest winds, storm surge flooding and torrential rainfall into places like Miami. As we head into Sunday, this is three o'clock Sunday afternoon and then those heavy rain bands continuing to lift northward. So Hurricane Irma, a significant threat to Florida. The threat for Georgia and the Carolinas based on new data coming in a little bit less. For us, we stay quiet. Radars dry this morning and other than an isolated shower or sprinkle, next couple of days are storm free for us. Temperatures in the low to mid 50s this morning, dry and clear, cool start in Narragansett. This is the upper level feature that has to pinwheel through today. That's what will give us some extra clouds in the afternoon and that isolated shower. So future cast shows the sunny skies and then a mix of clouds and sun in the afternoon. There's that little blip of green I was talking about as the sun goes down, that risk will diminish. In terms of our temperatures, we're in the 50s right now. We'll make it to the low and mid 70s this afternoon. So about 74 degrees for your high. Our weekend looking cool and dry. 70 on Saturday, 71 on Sunday, starting to warm up early next week. A couple of showers, the remnants of Irma, and there will be very little left of it. It looks like by the time it reaches us in the forecast for your Wednesday. Your full future cast.